everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. So I hope you're ready to learn one of the classics of the classical repertoire. Before we get into that, I just want to say this video has been sponsored by Skillshare. Now Skillshare is an online community for creators offering more than 25 thousand different courses in music but also design, business, photography, creative things, how to make the perfect cheese sandwich. Yep, yeah, that one is on there. I've been getting so excited about this. I'm trained as a musician but I'm building an online business, there's a lot of stuff I need to learn uh, and I found some courses that I'm going to be trying out over the next couple of weeks. There's this be your own boss and productivity habits that stick. I feel like I need that. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to all of these courses and it works out at less than $10 a month. However, I have something for you. If you click on the link in the description, you get two months of Skillshare for free. So I would say go and join 7 million other people and sign up to them today. Okay, on with some Beethoven. This is one of Beethoven's most well-known piano pieces. Its official name is actually Bagatelle number 25 in A minor, but yeah. Dedicated to an unknown woman called Elisa. I'm gonna play it today in the key of E minor on the soprano recorder. And before I get into the notes, I wanna say one thing. This piece has a lot of D sharp in it. I want you to take the time to play the proper D sharp. Now it can be played by adding one of these small holes to finger six. that's not in tune on all recorders and actually the proper D sharp fingering is no thumb, no first finger and then two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it is more effort than just wiggling this finger but I promise you it's gonna be a nicer sound color, a nicer tone, it's just worth it, so do it. Let's get started, we have first together that makes the iconic you can tongue them all but actually I like to slow them all together it has this feeling of piano hands then we have and then I'm gonna be strict on your G sharp as well I want you to use the proper fingering thumb, one, two, four, five, and half six. It does make a difference for the tuning. I didn't say this was gonna be easy. We're gonna get the first iconic opening phrase again, but with an extra low E at the beginning. And then again, And to close this section, this all actually repeats again. Now we're going to go into the B section. The next small section of music happens three times, but each time a note lower. We call this a motif. a bit of a, my own version from the piano score but we're going to do e, 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 e. and then you go back to the beginning but with an extra D sharp quite tricky with the D sharps, G sharps and these jumps but take the video step by step. I really recommend pausing between each cell just to practice it on your own.
this is my short play along for Fur Elisa by Beethoven. The actual piano piece is much longer, there's more sections. Go and give it a listen. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. Down here is a link to the Team Recorder Patreon where you can support the channel. In the description is a link to my web shop, buy cool stuff, and up here is a link to a play along with Mozart while we're playing classical stuff. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!